Hey, did you find my sweet dumpling? We didn't, but we got this off a of shade. Oh no, this, this is hers. So our fears were correct. Oh God, how could this happen to her? <laughs> this is all my fault. If I may, my good man, why did your wife leave home in the first place? It's because... because I... I think we should give him some time to himself, Vice. Honey, I'm home! Good heavens, you're a wreck! What's wrong? Dumpling! You're not dead! What in the world are you talking about? Oh, you found my bag. Thank you so much. I can't believe I went and dropped it like that. Oh, this is such a relief. <sighs> okay, seriously. What's going on? I see. So, you found a shade with my bag and assumed I'd been attacked and killed? I'm just glad you're safe, Dumpling. But I'm also so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, if I didn't eat that apple you were saving. Oh, God, I'm such an idiot! Listen, I promise I'll never eat anything of yours again. You just promise never to run away from home again, okay? Run away? Have you lost your mind? I just went to visit my parents. Huh? I told you about this. Going to see my family, gone for a week, <laughs> remember? Ugh, are you serious right now? Why don't you ever listen to me? Um... Lad, my brilliant intuition suggests we should beat a hasty retreat from these two with all speed. Oh, uh, hey, I have to go pick up a fish from the... Fish store. I can't believe you didn't listen to me, and you ate my apple. Ugh, you are the absolute worst. What? Oh, like you're some perfect angel. You didn't even care enough about our anniversary to hang on to your bag. You, kid, I'm right about this, yeah? If anyone's wrong here, it's my wife, right? Wait, you're asking me? shouldn't have eaten your wife's apple. That's not very nice. But I was hungry, and it was just sitting there. Look, I'm glad you went looking for my wife and all, but that was low, friend. Low. Uh-oh. Did I cross a line there? Besides, it's pretty rich to come after me for an apple when you threw away my entire stamp collection. You're damn right I did, and I'd do it again. You are nothing but a hoarding slob. You there. My husband's in the wrong here, isn't he? Uh, pardon, but madam, I... Oh, enough. The both of you are at fault. Now apologize to one another and end this ridiculous display. Good talk for a floating magazine. I see you finally agree on something. Do you not even understand how frustrating this is, you colossal oaf? This is exactly what I hate about you. Fine, hate me! I'll still sleep like a baby knowing I'm not an unreasonable hag like you! Vice, what do I do? You turn on your heel and walk away as fast as your legs can carry you, my good lad. That's it! I have had enough! 
Instead of belittling me, why don't you get a proper job? Everyone in the neighborhood treats me like dirt, and it's all because of my unemployed slob of a husband. Uh, actually, I have a job now. Wait, you what? You're kidding. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> That's great! Well, I sort of wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, you big silly Billy. Well, this calls for a celebration. Come on, I'm going to bake you a nice apple pie. I have no idea what just transpired, but it has utterly exhausted me. Well, looks like they made up, so all's well that ends well? In the course of all that madness, I have forgotten why we even came here in the first place. Oh, heck, the canal! We need to ask him about the canal! I can't thank you enough for all your help. Uh, sure, but listen, we need to talk to you about the canal. All right! That's why you came here in the first place, huh? Well, now that my love life is rolling in clover again, I'd be more than happy to get going on the canal work. I'll get started. Heavens, that was exhausting. Tell me about it. Anyway, let's go give Popola an update. You better watch yourself around that old lighthouse, lady. were a strange pair indeed. It boggles the mind to think their relationship can persist despite such intense squabbling. Well, they looked pretty happy in the end, at least. Maybe the secret to living a happy life is sharing your feelings, even when they're sort of mean and weird. If you adopt such a strategy, I may leave for groceries one day and never return. 